Income Tax 2021-2022, Taxes You Paid, Part 2. Get ready to get refunds to the max, diving into Income Tax 2021-2022. Most of this information can be found on the Schedule A Instructions Tax Year 2021, found on the IRS website at irs.gov, irs.gov. Looking at the income tax formula focused on the itemized deductions, keeping them distinct in our mind from the adjustments to income, which you might hear called the above the line the deductions, the deductions for adjusted gross income the Schedule 1 deductions. Anytime we think about the itemized deductions, we're comparing and contrasting them to the standard deductions to see which is larger, taking the one which is larger. That would mean we would only take the itemized deductions if greater than the standard deductions. Page 1 of the Form 1040, looking at line 12A, the standard deduction or itemized deductions here. We're looking at then the Schedule A, which would be included if itemizing the list of itemized deductions on the left-hand side, total of the Schedule A, then if larger than the standard deduction flowing through back up to page 1, Form 1040, line 12A. These are going to be the standard deductions that you want to have a general idea of in your mind so that you can basically answer questions and run through different scenarios just basically in general depending on whether someone is going to be itemizing or taking the standard deduction. So we're continuing on with the state and local taxes. So state and local general uh, sales tax. If you elect to deduct state and local general sales taxes instead of income taxes, so remember we have that either or, and this was a debate or a kind of a, a fight that happened in the law a, a while back where there was this deduction for the, the state taxes, which was income taxes, but not sales taxes. And again, the general idea would be that the federal government's not supposed to be influencing what the state wants to do. So if the state wants to fund their stuff by using something other than an income tax, like a sales tax, you would think that would be fine. They could do whatever they want to do. But if you get to deduct the tax, if you take a a uh, income tax, but not a sales tax, you would think that that would be subsidizing the states that are doing the income tax and so then they, they basically said, no, that's not fair. We should be able to deduct the sales tax if we want to do a sales tax because the Fed shouldn't be influencing our decision to tax wherever, you know, however we think is best for our local area here. So then they allowed basically the sales tax. So now you got to decide, are you going to take the, the income tax or the sales tax? Because some states might have both an income tax and, you know, a sales tax. And if you're living in like a large, like a state like a, like um, that has a big income tax like California or New York, it's likely that you're going to have more income tax unless there was like a big purchase maybe. You purchased something that was really big and you had a lot of sales tax on it or something uh, like that. So that's, that's how this kind of kind of came about here. So now we've got these two things that are deductible and you would think you got to take either one of the two. So if you elect to deduct state and local uh, general sales taxes instead of income taxes, you must check the box on line 5A. To figure your state and local general sales tax deduction, you can use either your actual expenses or the optional sales tax tables. So the easiest thing to do using software is, of course, using the sales tax tables. So in other words, if you're not taking the income tax, you're going to take the sales tax, then it's like, well, how am I going to calculate that? Am I going to add up everything I've purchased? Or you could use the sales tax tables. So the sales tax tables would be the easier way to go, or you can go to the actual expenses, which might be more applicable, especially if uh, you purchase something large, which may, could put you out of, uh, out of sorts or out of a distortion from the standard sales tax you would get from the tables depending on a particular area and the income level and so on how they build those tables so actual expenses generally you can deduct the actual state and local general sales tax including uh, compensating use taxes paid in 2021 if the tax rate was the same as the general sales tax rate food clothing and medical supplies sales tax on food clothing and medical supplies are deductible as a general sales tax even if the tax rate was less than the general sales tax rate so in other words you would think you're using the general sales tax rate and but there's certain things where you would think they would lower the sales tax and that would be on things like food and clothing and there are certain things where you would think they might increase 
uh, kind of the sales tax and that might be on like luxury items or items like maybe like a tobacco or something where they're trying to disincentivize the the use of it or something like that. So if you go in just to, as a general rule, if you're thinking about an income tax versus a sales tax, usually the arguments between the two, some people say, well, the we got to use an income tax because it's a progressive tax and it has the progressive tables to it. And the sales tax is regressive because it falls more heavily on people that have lower incomes. However, uh, that that's not exactly true if you were to adjust the sales tax because it's possible that you could say, well, that's true if I if I include food, clothing, and medical supplies, for example, and possibly energy in the items that uh, that are applied to the sales tax at the higher level. But if I make those items lower on the sales tax, then the people that are spending all of their money on the essentials, food, energy, clothing, are not going to be as subject to sales tax. So you've basically now made it more of a progressive tax, a progressive kind of sales tax in that way. So there's ways to kind of modify both of those taxes. And and so, you know, there's arguments on both sides and what, what's a better kind of tax uh, system. So motor vehicles, sales taxes on motor vehicles are deductible as a general sales tax, even if this even if the tax rate was different than the general sales tax rate. However, if you paid sales tax on a motor vehicle at a rate higher than the general sales tax, you can deduct only the amount of the tax that you would have paid at the general sales tax rate on that vehicle include any state and local general sales tax paid for a leased motor vehicle. Motor vehicles include cars, motorcycles, motorhomes, recreational vehicles, sports utility vehicles, trucks, vans, and off-road vehicles. Trade or business items don't include sales taxes paid on items used in your trade or business. Instead, go to instructions for the form you are using to report business income and expenses to see if you can deduct these taxes. So in other words, if you have a trade or business type of item, then you might be reporting, for example, on a Schedule C if you're a sole proprietor uh, kind of situation. And in that instance, if you're buying something that you're reporting as an expense on the Schedule C, then you would think that you'd be taking the sales tax as a deduction in just the cost of the thing on the Schedule C, and you can't then deduct it on the Schedule A as well as uh, taxes because you're going to take the full deduction. So, for example, if you bought supplies and there was $100 of sales tax on the supplies that you're going to use in your business, then you're going to probably record the whole cost that includes the sales tax as a deduction on your Schedule C to get to your net income on the Schedule C. So you've already deducted the sales tax in the cost of the thing and you can't then deduct the sales tax on the Schedule A again because you'd be double dipping if that were the case. So refund and double dipping meaning getting two deductions for the same thing is what I mean by that. So refund of general sales taxes. If you received a refund of state or local general sales taxes in 2021 for amounts paid in 2000, for amounts paid in 2021, reduce your actual 2021 state and local general sales taxes by this amount. If you received a refund or state or local general sales taxes in 2021 from prior year purchases, don't reduce your 2021 state and local general sales taxes by this amount. However, if you deducted your actual state and local general sales taxes in the earlier year and the deduction reduced your tax, you may have to include the refund in income on Schedule 1. So this would be a, a similar kind of thing as we saw if with the income tax. So if it was a state income tax and you got the deduction on Schedule A and then you got a refund of it in the following year, then we might have to record it basically as income in the following year. So in other words, let's take a look at that one more time. General refund. So the refund of general sales tax, if you received a refund of state or local general sales taxes in 2021 for amounts paid in the same year, 2021, the tax year we're talking about, then you're going to reduce your actual 2021 state and local general sales taxes by this amount. So that's because it happened in the same year. But if you had something kind of similar to the to the to the income tax, whereas this one down below, if you received a refund of state or local general sales taxes in 2021 for prior year purchases, so purchases made in the prior year, and then you got the refund in the current year, then the question is, well, what should I do? Should I go back to the prior year and fix it? lowering the deduction that I got? Most likely not. 
most likely you might then include it basically as income in the current year in a similar fashion as we saw with the state and local income taxes. But you can take a look at publication 525 for more details on that if that's going to be applicable. Uh, optional sales tax tables, instead of using your actual expenses, you can use the 2021 uh, optional state sales tax table and the 2021 optional local sales tax tables at the end of these instructions to figure your state and local general sales tax deduction. Now, typically, the software will help you out with the tables. So normally, it's going to be a more easy kind of thing. You're going to say it, it'll, it'll basically be uh, based on where you do your tax, your taxes. If you mainly do taxes for people in a particular state, then you probably have an idea of the taxes that are happening in that state. For example, if I'm in California, I know California has a high state income tax. They also have sales tax, but it's probably the case that the income taxes are going to be are going to be high. Enough. That's probably the one that we're going to take, and that's probably the way it's going to go here. If you're in a, a sales tax state then you're probably well aware that the sales tax is the one that you're going to basically want to be deducting. And most likely you can just use the tables to do the sales tax deduction, unless usually there's kind of some kind of big purchase where the sales tax was, you have a large amount of sales tax for whatever reason that's going to be outpacing what you would typically get with, with the tables. And that's when you might have to dig into it a bit more de detail with the actual sales tax. So you may also be able to add the state and local general sales taxes paid on certain specific items. To figure state and local general sales tax deduction using the tables, complete the state and local general sales tax deduction worksheet or use the sales tax deduction calculator at irs.gov. Software, very helpful, once again, with the tax calculations uh, there and pulling things from tables and whatnot. It's quite useful to have the software to, uh, to help you out with that. Uh, if your filing status is married, filing separately, both you and your spouse elect to deduct sales taxes and your spouse elects to use the optional sales tax tables, uh, you also must use the tables to figure your state and local general sales tax deduction. So again, the IRS is going to be skeptical of someone saying we're married, but now we're going to mar file married filing separate and then trying to have one of the spouses take basically the tables as the deduction and the other spouse trying to take the actual sales taxes as the deduction, right? They're trying to, you know, you can see how they, you might have a situation where they're trying to game the system in some sense. So they're going to have some uniformity that they want to see there. Instructions for the state and local general sales tax deduction worksheet. Line one, if you lived in the same state for all of 2021, enter the applicable amount based on your 2021 income and family size from the 2021 optional state sales tax table for your state. Uh, read, read down the quote, at least but less than quote columns uh, for your state and find the line that includes your 2021 income. Again, software helpful in these instances. Note, the family size column refers to the number of dependents listed on page one of form 1040 or form 1040 SR and any conditions sheet plus, uh, plus you and if you are filing a joint return, your spouse. Instructions for the state and local general sales tax deduction worksheet. So we have the income, your 2021 income is the amount shown on your form 1040 or 1040 SR line 11 plus any non-taxable income such as the following. So we got the veterans benefits, the non-taxable combat, workers compensation, non-taxable part of social security. Now the reason I, I just want to go over these fairly quickly because again, you're probably going to be dependent on the software to help you out with this. But just to get a general idea of how the tables would work, you would think that the tables are going to be based on some vital conditions to determine what the general sales tax would be if they're just going to give you a number. And one of those things, of course, would be the income line. You would think if people had more income, then they would have more uh, more sales tax that they would pay and a higher sales tax deduction. Instructions for state and local general sales tax deduction worksheet. What if you lived in more than one state? Now, this could be a problem. And as you're doing tax returns, you want to think about the complexity of tax preparation that you're going to do. Do you want to work with people that are mainly in the state that you're in, that you know, or are, which might be easier? Do you want to expand out to people that have more complex tax returns with multiple states, possibly foreign income, which is one of the things that can complicate 
the tax preparation. So if you lived in more than one state during 2021, use the following steps to figure the amount to put on line one of the worksheet. One, look up the table amount for each state using the rules stated earlier. If there's no table for a state, the table amount for that state is considered to be zero. Two, multiply the table amount for each state by a fraction, the numerator of which is the number of days you lived in the state during 2021, and the denominator of which is the total number of days in the year. So 365. Three, if you also lived in a locality during 2021 that imposed a local general sales tax, complete a separate worksheet for each state you lived in using the prorated amount from uh, step two for the state on line one of the worksheet. So you're going to basically do this allocation method again. Tax software, helpful to do this kind of thing. Otherwise, combine the, the prorated table amounts from step one, step two and enter the total on line one of the single worksheet. So like I say, this, this stuff gets into basically you know, the calculations get somewhat in depth and whatever we do with these calculations, whenever we pull from the tables and so on, it's a good idea to have a general idea of how things work, just like we talked about with the progressive tax system. What is the progressive tax system? What are the kind of things that make it go up? These kind of calculations pulling from the tables as well, a general understanding, what's the state uh, sales tax deduction in general versus the income tax, and then what kind of things might increase the sales tax tables? When might we want to take the actual deduction versus letting the tables do the calculation? And then from there, rely to some degree generally on the software to help you out uh, once, you've, once you've got the general strategy that you're putting into place.